It's been a few years since India set 2030 as the cut-off date to electrify a majority of automobiles on our roads. Three months ago, G20 Sherpa Amitabh Khan said the country should target electrification of all two- and three-wheelers by this time. U.S.-based tech major Honeywell has now said it has the technology to help India sell more EVs and hydrogen-powered vehicles. Jude Sanit traveled to the company's lab in Chicago to find out how. If there's one factor that slowed down EV two-wheeler sales last year, it was simply this. Too many of them kept catching fire. At Honeywell's laboratory in Chicago, the company is working on tech that could buck the trend. By 2025, its soon-to-be-launched AI will predict battery fires or thermal runaways and help protect motorists and EV batteries. In the pipeline is also a low-cost solution, which the company says is a great fit for electric two-wheelers in India. We're developing two different types of solution. One is the lithium-ion battery um, uh, off-gassing solution, but we're also developing solutions that detects hydrogen, and that has a, is very applicable to the two- and three-wheel vehicle market specifically. But for a simple two-wheel vehicle, it needs to be a relatively simple solution, and, and the polymer solutions that we're developing and, and talking to many manufacturers about are exact, you know, a real sweet spot for that. While it won't name names, Honeywell says it's talking to several two- and three-wheel EV manufacturers to adopt its latest safety solution. That's because there's huge potential for AI that saves EV assets here. Despite the spate of EV fires, India sold 8.47 lakh electric two-wheelers in FY23, two and a half times more than the 3.28 lakh e-scooters sold the previous fiscal. But that's still over 25% short of the minimum target of 11 lakh units set by organizations like Niti Aayog. So there's another opportunity that the company is bullish about from an India standpoint. Green hydrogen. Honeywell has said that its catalyst-coated membranes, or CCMs, which are a key component of green hydrogen production, are market-ready with samples already being shipped to multiple countries around the world, including India. Now, these components are a key part of India's green energy dreams simply because its national green hydrogen mission aims to produce 500 million tonnes of the clean fuel every single year. The company says it hopes to become a supplier to companies building hydrogen electrolyzers in India. We've been developing um, that technology for a few years now in our labs in Chicago and also working with our team in Gurugram. And we, we'd like to be the supplier of the chemistry technology to whoever manufactures the electrolysis, electrolysis plants. But we'll work with all the companies that are, that are building uh, electrolyzers. We are talking with several Indian companies. We don't have anything that's public yet. The fact remains that Honeywell's plans will depend on factors like investments made by OEMs and energy majors in battery manufacturing and hydrogen production. However, with sustainability goals getting loftier than before and with multiple industries hoping to achieve these goals ahead of schedule, there's some optimism in the air. In Chicago, Jude Sanat. And before we